so hey everybody welcome back to my channel so you guys i am we are done with sales today i'm just leaving hobby lobby for today um because i've got to make some more uh t-shirts so i came to get some more t-shirts to press more for tomorrow um i just wanted to come on and tell you guys how today's sales went Y'all, if I got one little hair that don't want to lay down and I feel just like that one hair. Y'all, I am so tired. Oh my God, my feet hurt so bad. We, sales were great. Um, We still have um stuff left, as you can see. Um, But we don't have a whole lot left. We're probably down to one tent at this point. Um, We might can stretch it to do two. Um, but we could we could get away with one tent tomorrow. Um, we still have, for the most part, we've got flower arrangements. Um, the we still got the some of some reefs. We got um, the flower vases for the graves. Um, we don't have anything between forty dollars and seven. I think the the. Our higher price stuff starts at 70 and up. We don't have anything, I think, um, in between 35 and 70 dollars. Nothing. Everything is gone in between, you know, in that middle range. Um the bags that I did this morning with the t-shirts, uh, or not the t-shirts, the outfits, y'all were a great success. Every one of them sold except for the small, and I was kind of skeptical about doing the small in the first place because I just, you know, there's just not that many people. You know, small around here, you know, we like to eat in America. So, um, all of the other ones sold quickly. Of course, it went from the largest one to the smallest one, okay? <laughs> Which was funny. Um, but anyway, um, I have, um, like I said, I've got to go and do some more, some more of those bags because they just, they were, um, really wanting those. I, I've even got someone requesting, you know, one for tomorrow. Um, but yeah, everything went really, really well. Um, it was, it, it started out the day, it wasn't really hot. And of course it got hot in the middle of the day. Um, and um, I, I didn't have to run around as much as I did yesterday. I only had to go home one time um, because we ran out of, oh, the tumblers, you guys, the metal tumblers that I did. Um, we sold everyone we had on site. So I had I had three or four left at home because I I uh, I had ran out of perfume when I was making them the first time. Well, I bought more perfume, but I never had put them in the bags. So I brought the bags, of course, and put the uh, perfume in them on site. Uh, so to to go ahead and finish selling those. Um, and pretty much all of those, I I think I have maybe three left. The three I may have the three left that I brought back, or something. Um, but yeah, I mean, everything is going really well. All of the flower arrangements that had the bath and body works, um, in them are gone, maybe except one or two. The only flower arrangements that we really have left are the ones that don't have anything in them. And that was because we didn't set those out until last. Um, and we made, she made a lot of those because I told you she made like 20 something of those. So we went ahead and made, you know, made all those up, put balloons and everything. We've got about six that don't have balloons, so I've got to go back. I've got to go to Dollar Tree in the morning and buy some balloons to go in those because we ran out of balloons. Um, I even had something, you guys, that didn't sell. Another thing that didn't sell for uh, Valentine's Day, which I, when I look at it, I realize I priced it really, really high. And if I would have priced it lower, um, it would have sold. So I went ahead and dropped the price and I've already sold one and um, the young lady wants another one for tomorrow. So I'm gonna bring those out, but I'm gonna have to sit them back because they have chocolate in them. And because it being so hot, I've been putting the chocolate in my vehicle and you know, just bringing it out as needed. So um, we're gonna have to try to figure out how to work those baskets because like I said, they um they have chocolate in them and I don't want them to melt. So, um yeah, and that's the reason why like the balloons are in my car because we had a couple of the 
rose bears with balloons in the uh, U-box and the balloons have deflated. So um, we just started selling the rose bears this afternoon because the that's the reason why I have so many of those in my trunk because the wind was so disrespectful. I couldn't sit them out on the table. So, um, so yeah, so we just started setting those um, out this afternoon and I think one or two of them already sold. I know one for sure. Um, and so we're gonna, that's what we're gonna sell tomorrow. It'll be the rose bears, um, some of the rest of the flower arrangements. Like I said, we do have some that are, um, you know, 70, between 70 and 125. We still have a few of those left. So we'll, um, you know, have those out there to sell and I'm gonna go ahead and go home and do, I just went to Hobby Lobby and bought, I think six, um, six t-shirts. And I have, um, I think I have about six, no, three, about, about five short sets at home that I can press tonight. So that's gonna be my job tonight is pressing um, the short sets and the t-shirts, getting ready for um, tomorrow. Um, I don't think I'm gonna try to make anything else. I'm just gonna try to, you know, repair what I have and make the t-shirts and stuff. And um, yeah, let that be the end. If I think of something else to maybe add to like a quick bag, I may do that. But other than that, you know, that's gonna be the end, y'all. We have done really, really well. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm very pleased with what we, you know, done. I, I have no complaints. Um, so, yeah. So I just wanted to come on and tell you, um, all how, um, how today went. I had planned to do a video, you guys, but it was busy today. Like I said, it was a Saturday, so it was busy today. And in our downtime, we were trying to blow up balloons to put them in the flower arrangements and, even the time, one time that I left, um, I had to rush back because uh, while I was gone, she probably called me three times because the uh, credit card, um, I have the credit card thing on my phone. So she had to call me, you know, keep calling me because people were using credit cards. So um, to process the payments. And um, then I had to hurry back because she ran out of um, chocolate um, so I had to go home, get some more chocolate, uh, and y'all, I'm using all this chocolate. When I tell y'all that we down to, I'm down to using those cocoa truffle things. Y'all remember them cocoa truffles we got from, um, that we got from, uh, where did we get them? From Dollar uh, General, I think it was after Christmas or something, them chocolate truffles, the blue ones. Y'all, that's what I'm down to now. That's what I am using. Uh, is those chocolate truffles um, because I have used every other piece of candy. So, cause what I what I started doing was, and I can't remember what I initially said I was gonna do, but this is what I started doing. Um, if you buy a flower arrangement, you get a uh, chocolate and a, a card. If you buy um, the mugs, the tumblers, uh, the metal tumblers, you get um, chocolate and a card. Or if you buy like a $125 or $150 gift, you get chocolate and a card. Cause I, like I told you, I'm trying to get, I was trying to get rid of this candy. And then my husband stole the um, last pack of turtles that I had. I was like, it's not your mother's day. But he was like, um, <laughs> they going with me regardless. So, so I shouldn't have even, he, let him look at the trunk of my car because I've been hiding them from him because I had like three th three things of turtles and I've been hiding them from him but he saw them and that was all she wrote so they went they gone with him but yeah but um I hope you guys they went really well um and um we're gonna go back in the morning like I said we're gonna go out back early in the morning and try to get our day started um I've got it. I'm gonna try to get some rest, sit down, uh, and eat something. Luckily, my uh, kids, God sister, cooked, so I'm going to get some jambalaya and uh, eat, and then maybe rest my nerves, and then get up um, and press these shirts. I'm gonna go and get my big press. The shirts that I press today, I press them with my little press, which takes longer. So I think I'm gonna go um, out and pull my big press in the house because it's in my uh, shop. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it in so that I can do these t-shirts so I can get them done quicker um, and everything. And so, yeah. So anyway, you guys, I didn't want, uh, I just wanted to come on and just, you know, share that with you. We went, we did really well, which I expected. You know, of course we expect, I, I expected Saturday to go well, especially with Thursday and um, Friday going the way it was and where we are on the strip. Um, they said uh, that, you know, they there wasn't many people out in in, in where we are selling. Um, there's the one other young lady that I told you that kind of pops in and out of our parking lot. And she must be going somewhere else selling because she she leaves like in the prime time of the day, which I don't understand that. She, she came out this morning. She left in the middle of the day, which was like noon. I was like, this is the best time. And then she came back at like six. So I don't know what that was about. But anyway, um, they said there's another lady that's selling some wreaths. And then there used to be a strip down here that where all of the basket makers would go. And they said there was nobody down there. Everybody, they, but they said there was a lot of people selling in a town over. And so, because one guy came and he bought something from me from us. And he said that was the first thing, fourth thing he had bought, bought today. He said he had bought three other things from some other basket makers and they were in the town over. And I was like, oh, okay, well, that makes sense. Because I was like, I just can't believe nobody's selling. So, um, but yeah, in my town, I think it must be Slim Pickens or whatever. So, um, but yeah, hey, good for me. Yay. <laughs> so, y'all, um, we're going to go back uh, out tomorrow and finish up strong. And, you know, like I said, do these t-shirts. Most of the concepts that I have, uh, you know, thought up has done really well. Even if I had to change it up a little bit, I think everything has been a great success. Oh, y'all, I will tell y'all this. So the Victoria's Secret bags, they were not selling at 125. I, I know I showed y'all those bags and y'all were like, uh-uh, do not sell those bags cheaper. Um, And y'all, they were just passing them up, passing them up. So... This was um, this afternoon, probably about two or three o'clock. I went ahead and I was like, okay, we're gonna drop the price on them because evidently they're too high. Because I mean, everything near that, you know, was selling, but they were not. Y'all, we dropped the price on them. They immediately started selling, immediately. So the price was too high on those. Um, they was not gonna sell at 125 because I. Cause y'all, um, I think the price that was recommended to me was 135, and I I went ahead and did 125. I so I'm gonna try it at 125 and see how it goes. And so I ended up dropping them. Um, I calculated my cost, and three times my cost was 90 dollars. So I I um, put them at three times my cost, which was 90 dollars, and they they're selling. So um, I've already sold. Uh, three of them i think i had six of them i've already sold three i think three or two or three um and so i'm gonna leave them at 90 dollars and let them sell on out and uh yeah so um it's going well well for me you know like i said everything is going i do have a couple other um gifts that i think may be a little too high i may I'm, i think i'm gonna bring the price down on a couple of those tomorrow because um I, the at the um the way they look I think um that they must be too high that they're not selling one in particular I was kind of skeptical about putting it at that price anyway but I said I'm gonna give it a try so um I think I'm gonna drop the price on it's a purse the blue the the big the largest blue purse that I had I um I'm put it for eighty dollars and I wasn't think I really didn't think it would sell at that price but I was like. Once I calculated the cost of it, um, that's kind of what my price point was. But I think I'm going to bring it down probably to 70 and see if it sells. And if not, um, um, I'll see and I'll just have it. It'll be left over for Christmas or something. And then I'll say, see what to do with it, you know, at that point. Um, but I'm not going to bring it lower than 70. But, I'm, but I am going to bring it down to 70 and see if it sells. Because I figure it will sell at 70. Um... Cause almost all my other purses are gone. I think I may have one purse concept left. Besides that one, I have one um, of the large purse concepts that everybody loved. I have one left. Of course.
course the purple's gone the uh marble's gone all those are gone i think i have the the red and um brown one that i broke up that was the five five or six piece that i broke up i think i have that one um left and i think that may be the only one but yeah i'm y'all i'm sorry i'm taking too long i've been on this video 15 minutes thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i will see you guys on my next video Bye, guys.